Peter, I was just wondering, um, you know, you're a pioneer and advocate for technologies that preserve privacy during the linkage process. So what are some uh, emerging technologies that you see are most promising in the near term? Right, so that's a really tricky question. Um, let me try to go back to what Luisa mentioned before, because setting the context is important here, right? So I mean, I think we are outliers. We, wherever we go, if we come to RPDLN, we are outliers. We're like, I think there's less than 10 computer scientists at that conference. If you go to a data mining conference, then we're the only applied people, and people look at us, what, you actually, you actually talk to people outside of computer science, and you, you actually develop algorithms which people are using. So it's a fantastic thing. <laughs> <laughs> but it's highly, well, maybe outside of Google and Facebook and all these other big companies. So, and you're doing something which is for the social good, which I think is a really big thing. That's my passion in a way, not doing something um, where I make lots of money. I come as well to Facebook and Google and do these kind of things. Um, and so I think as many academics, as you become older and grayer, you start to kind of take a step back and you're not looking at developing new algorithms, new technologies. You look at the impact of those the limitations of those, and trying to really make sure that they're used in, a, in an ethical, good way. And we've seen the last few years with AI how the rapid progress of algorithms and techniques can turn out really bad things. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess the same, to some degree, is happening with privacy-preserving technologies. The good news, in a way, is that the public doesn't use them, right? So we kind of, nobody does, you kind of use people, all techniques to do deep fake things, which is great. Um, but I've seen over the years that the use of privacy preserving record linkage in, um, in application areas is done not in a proper way. People read these computer science articles like, oh, that's fantastic. Let's implement this. Because the computer science have shown it's provable, secure, or whatever. Um, but what's not really looked at is actually the data behind it. As we learn about AI hallucinations and all these things, Similar aspects will happen in the data linkage space as well, right? Um, there are things where the way data is being collected and processed, then linked, the researcher at the end doesn't actually see what that whole pipeline mm -hmm. has been doing. That together with a colleague who's a social scientist from Germany, uh, we've been really trying to push this uh, to look at that the analysts and researchers look at where does the data come from. Um, and so I think, coming back to your question, it's Technology is moving forward very fast. But unless we really look at how we evaluate mm -hmm. what we're doing, it's very dangerous. And of course, with privacy preserving technologies, evaluating is almost impossible. That's the whole point. We want to hide sensitive information. So how do we know how good our linkages are? Mm -hmm. If I show you codes, I show you my codes, and you show, we show each other our codes, we cannot say, is this the same person? Um, and we all know if you've done practical data link to your data analysis, you already know how challenging it is to evaluate what you're doing. If you're moving into a privacy preserving space, it's exponentially more challenging. And I think that's where um, I don't have answers. I've got PhD students working on looking at fairness and bias in privacy preserving linkage, which I think is a really big, a, a big challenge. And then with other colleagues, I'm working on how we actually measure how good we are. And even that is a really open problem, which not many researchers are interested in. So it's not about developing new algorithm or making them faster. I think that's kind of the core computer technologies. But at that interaction with the, the applied domains, it's about evaluation um, and, yeah, and fairness and bias. I think that's the, the big challenges.